Hi Starlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jessica Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here for the first time. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and take some time out to support my channel and my work by clicking on the subscribe button and give it a like if this resonates with you. For those of you, my Capella members, you are the most amazing people on the planet. Thank you so much for your love, your loyalty, and support. I'm so glad you were part of my circle, my Capella circle. Um, <clears throat> if you're interested in a personal reading or if you want to set up for an awesome Capella membership, which you can learn more about in the end of the video, check out the description box below or you can go to CapellaWellness.com and check out the amazing things I have to offer along with my very, very impactful Capella memberships. Um, <clears throat> Lastly, if you would like to support the work that I do and my channel, you can do so by submitting a donation or choosing an item from my wish list. More information about where those things are, how you can donate, how you can access my wish list on Amazon, those are in the description box below. Okay, just scroll down further and you'll see the links to where you can make a donation and where you can um, view my wish list. All right, if you do. Um, choose any one of those options to support me and my channel and the work that I do. May that be returned to you tenfold. I wish you guys a wonderful week. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you are well. I send you much love and many blessings as I always do. All right, Sagis, we're going to see what your current theme is for this week, what you need to focus on, what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth, because that is what this is about. We're then going to get guidance from spirit to see how you can best navigate these energies, what your wellness tip of the week is, and lastly, what is coming to you in love. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Play and Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good. <clears throat> What is the current theme for Sagittarius? All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We have <coughs> protection. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, guys, seriously, I was just watching some Game of Thrones episodes while I was eating my dinner, and uh, I was just fine. Anyway, not that I need to make any excuses, or nor do I need to <coughs> prove myself. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, this is about knowing that you are protected. I'm getting for some of you, there is something coming from childhood because I'm looking at this egg here where you did feel like you were protected and over time, you may have felt like the need to really defend yourself or really um, explain yourself to other people. Um, you may have like root chakra issues where maybe you didn't come from a stable home or uh, there was something about money issues in the home or you grew up with something that didn't make you feel safe, okay? And uh, it looks like it is stemming from some sort of childhood. Or maybe this even has to do with the birth of a child. It's going to be different for everybody. <coughs> Remember to take what resonates. <coughs> Leave what does it for somebody else who is watching this. Okay. You have to understand that you are uh, protected. You're very loved, especially when you are pursuing your um, dreams. Okay. Whatever endeavors you are um, embarking on. Know that God has got your back, right? <clears throat> know that he is guiding you along the way. May not seem that way, but there's something here that you need to believe in that. Okay. Um, there's something where this need for some of you Sagittarians to overwork yourself. You have to put a hand into everything you have to do every little thing okay and um it could be because again there's some security safety issue like root chakra something about money for some of you all right <clears throat> but it is stemming somewhere from childhood uh maybe you had hardworking parents and you were led to be a hardworking parent Okay, you had to do everything, but there's something about ten of wands here, and sometimes you get this energy, Sagittarius, where you got to take breaks. You have to take some time for yourself, spend some time alone. All right, uh, when you're overworked, when you're pushing yourself too hard, I get that you guys are ambitious. You're 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 fire. You have these dreams. The there's this. Um, you are the archer, right? It's like this 
adventurer, this warrior, and you have to go at it hard. You have to just like, I got to get this done. I have to do all these things. But what happens is it affects your health, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. <clears throat> okay. Um, and if you see this woman here in this card, she's holding herself. This is kind of like loving yourself, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Whatever it is that you're pursuing, um, you may be overdoing yourself because, again, you're trying to seek validation. You're trying to, <clears throat> you don't feel secure in yourself, so you tend to feel secure when you are overworking yourself with regards to your work, your mission, <coughs> family, <coughs> okay? <clears throat> Looks like my candle went out. Okay, all my candles are done. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's this tendency to, sometimes you guys feel like you're out in the open. I see yourself standing in the middle of this massive field and you're just standing there with your arms wide open and it's kind of like you're allowing everything to come in. Some of you don't set boundaries for yourself. Some of you don't set barriers and it's kind of like, instead of keeping those arms all wide open, everything just coming to you, there's something here where <clears throat> saving yourself, protecting yourself, like, look, she's hugging herself. Something with self-love and something with, the gar with regards of <coughs> nurturing yourself too. <clears throat> okay. Um, earth element with this yeah you gotta be more rooted you gotta get grounded all right <clears throat> i'm seeing four swords with this okay don't bring yourself to the ground sagittarius <clears throat> even when you're working on yourself when you're working on your healing if some of you are, are overly ambitious here, um, know that there is a time for rest. Maybe you weren't like this before and maybe there's something about you now that uh, you are, <clears throat> you are wanting to really be gung-ho about something and now you're driven, you're motivated but there's something here by doing that you are causing yourself some harm Sagittarius because you're not allowing yourself to take breaks to take a rest <clears throat> like hangman four swords kind of energy <clears throat> hibernation is what I just heard um retreating and and taking care of yourself but there's something here where maybe your mental health is being affected because of the extremes as to what you are putting yourself into um there is a lot of self-care here with this, but I really do get it stemming from something that happened in your childhood, okay? <clears throat> Again, maybe you were ambitious from the beginning or something changed here and now you're all gung-ho and you're not letting yourself to breathe and it's affecting you in one way or the other. The bottom of the deck is change. It's wind, okay? I'm hearing winds of change. There's something about... <clears throat> If you've been working hard on an endeavor, a project, a business, your health, your well-being, whatever this is, uh, you may have been doing this because you were thinking that um, <clears throat> it's coming from some lack of security, some lack of safety. There is something for some of you with money. Because root chakra does talk about stability and security also with regards to money, okay? <clears throat> Where you're trying to do all these things because you're afraid of not having. It's like a lack mentality. I'm seeing five of pentacles with this, too. <clears throat> and because you're working so, so hard just to make a buck or just to have enough savings or just have enough money for something, you're, you're overdoing it, okay? It's like to the point where it's ten of wands, ten of swords, Something's got to give. Something's got to change. Okay. If you look at this picture here, <clears throat> we're looking at 
like a spiral. There's this woman here where there's all this stuff around her. It looks like there's a train, a train that's going off the tracks, if I'm seeing this correctly. Yeah. There's a face there. There's some sort of wall. There's some sort of obstacles. Yeah, it looks like there's a train or something. It's kind of a little bit dark where I'm seeing it, but I'm seeing a track here. But it looks like the train's about to go off the rails. <clears throat> that could be you, okay? And I see like a crow here, maybe a raven. There's something about messages here, communication. Um, <clears throat> you may be catching wind of something, some communication, some uh, word of something. <clears throat> That make that might make you help you make make you feel more protected, okay, more safe. But I'm more getting so with this energy here because it looks to me that there's something that's about to go off the rails, okay. And you're standing here, and it's almost like it's just weird that I'm getting this because it looks like something's coming about face, okay. I mean, if this train continues and actually follows this track, it might hit you. You know what I mean? It's like something about something's about to fall off the rails. <clears throat> there's something about not going with the flow. Go where the wind takes you, right? Allow change to, to happen naturally, all right? You don't have to force change to happen. You need to be able to go with the flow because, again, like, you're going to derail yourself. You're going to fall off the path, all right? Because if, if you're, it's almost like, okay, I have to steer the train here so it doesn't fall off the tracks, but there's something here where you're not allowing God to take over, <clears throat> you're not allowing yourself to rest because there's some security issue here. You're afraid of losing something or you're just afraid of being, you know, uh, I'm getting an energy again about the money thing. Okay. There's somebody here who's overworking themselves in whatever project endeavor that they're doing, they're healing, whatever, because... You're trying to do this to have security based off of possessions, material things. Know that God is your only source and supply. You are loved and protected as you're pursuing whatever this is. <clears throat> but you've got to nurture yourself first. Something needs to change here, Sagittarius. Allow yourself to have the wind take you to where you need to be. I see kind of like the chariot with this. Following your divine guidance. Okay. <clears throat> you have to stop forcing the situation. You have to stop resisting change. All right. There's something here that. God is about to steer you in a different direction. This may be coming with like train rolling off the tracks, getting you off the path. Death sounds like a tower card for me. All right. There's something here about you've already been given the warning. The sirens have gone off. The tornado's coming. The hurricane's coming. You've seen the red flags. <clears throat> but you're overdoing yourself because you're trying to protect something. You're either trying to protect the business. <laughs> Protect your kids, maybe. Um, protect your job. But you already see the red flags, right? If you were told to leave the job, leave. If you were told something in advance and you didn't heed the warning, you didn't get out, <laughs> you didn't pay attention to the hurricane warnings and the tornado warnings, something's about to change. <clears throat> Okay. If you haven't done anything yet, this is your last warning because there's something about something is about to fall off the tracks. This could even be about your health too. Okay. If you are overworking yourself and your health is failing, you've been getting the body signals. You've been getting the warning signs, maybe in other readings from me or other people or whomever you've been being told something's got to change Sagittarius it's kind of like this may go from bad to worse like the six of swords in the reverse so it's time to change now before God does it for you <coughs> <clears throat> all 
right? Whatever direction you need to be heading towards, Sagittarius, you're going to be cared for. If God was telling you to get off a track, to get on this track, you need to trust where God is. The instruction from God is being obedient. Okay? You can't avoid the winds of change. It's kind of like the seasons. Seasons are going to change no matter what the hell happens. We cannot force it. We cannot make it stay summer all year round, although I would love that to happen, but that doesn't happen. And we have to adjust as the seasons change, as the winds change, right? We can't control the direction of the wind either. So why are you trying to control the direction of your path, your life, right? There are things that we do not have full control over, and that is when God is leading us to our destiny. We just have to go with the flow, go where the wind takes us. <clears throat> and not be afraid of that change. <clears throat> okay? You guys, are, there's a fear of safety here, of security, of stability. And you're like, no, I don't want to go there because I'm afraid that I'm not going to be financially secure. I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to be that. And now, if there's something about protecting family, protecting home, protecting children, um, whatever warning you've been given, you need to heed it. Because... At the end of the day, God is going to protect you as well. There's something about uh, your house, your possessions, kids, job, right? Job security, um, money. You got to get grounded because some of you, you're like nine of swords. I'm seeing eight of swords. You're like you're overthinking this because <clears throat> you're afraid that whatever change you embark on, that something's going to go wrong. That you're not going to be supported. Ask for that protection. I'm seeing Archangel Michael all of a sudden here. He's right over there. But this also ties into you taking care of yourself first. <clears throat> taking it easy. If change has already happened for you and it's been drastic, it has been challenging... Take care of yourself. Embrace yourself. Nurture yourself. Because whatever you're trying to resist is not working. <clears throat> Let's see what you need to focus on. What does Sagittarius need to focus on? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic families, Pleiadian Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. The Star card and the Five Swords. Okay, and we also have the Queen of Rods, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You got to be in your power, okay? <clears throat> this may be even resisting change about you becoming a leader, all right? Coming into your power. Maybe some of you are afraid of change because of the powerful person you're about to become. You can't be afraid of that. God is asking you to be this Queen of Wands. He's asking you to be this leader, whether you're male or female. Someone in a place of power, someone who has high manifestation abilities, you shining your light to the world. You were meant to do this, Sagittarius. You can't avoid this because if God has placed this upon your head, he's already given you the golden crown. It's time for you to rule. Okay? It's time for you to step up into your leadership role. You are going to be protected. You are going to have these other knights in and, and your king and everything, like, protecting you as you're ruling your uh, your kingdom. <clears throat> but you can't be afraid of this energy. This is you. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You need to shine your light. You need to become that beacon of light, faith, and hope for other people. The changes that you're going through right now, Sagittarius, are going to be an inspiration to others. I talked about this in the Leo reading. Because the Queen of Wands did come out. And I talked about being that star. Shining brightly for the world to see. You being in your fullness, your nakedness, everything showing. Not literally, obviously, but you know what I mean. Your inner you shining for the world to see. This is Aquarius energy. You may have Aquarius in your chart or you're dealing with Aquarius. It's a but it's more about your purpose, your mission. <clears throat> you are destined to be a leader. You cannot be afraid of this change anymore. 
Some of you used to hide behind the shadow. Some of you were lack of self-esteem, lack of self-confidence. You didn't believe in yourself. You used to cower away, you used to hide. Some of you were afraid of power. Some of you were afraid of being that strong, of having that strong feminine energy. <clears throat> this is not the time to cower away, Sagittarius. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you who you were destined to be. And you were destined to be definitely a leader. <clears throat> it does not matter what you look like on the outside because some of you are caught up in that. You're afraid you're going to be dethroned. You're afraid that somebody's going to call you out. You're afraid they're not, you're, you're not, you're not ready for this role. But you are. You're going to have to work through this because this is part of your destiny. It's it, part of your mission work. Okay. This queen of wands protects her people. She also knows how to protect herself first. <clears throat> she has the ability to manifest helpful people. When she's in her power. All right. You are going to be coming this queen on your own. This is independence. She doesn't get to this throne without going through battles and challenges. But she always follows the light of truth because she's got the Ace of Wands in her hand. She uses the fire power of the Ace of Wands to obliterate any difficulties, any challenges, any obstacles. Because she's got God with her. <clears throat> and as I said, you are protected by God, by your angels, by your spirit team. You're coming to a place of great change, Sagittarius, and it's time for you to, to accept that. You are shedding your old skin, Sagittarius, become this powerful leader. And everyone's going to know your name, like in Cheers. <laughs> Everybody knows who this queen is. Her beacon of light is so bright that she attracts people from all over the place. She's very charismatic. She's very intelligent. She's very strong, very confident. She gets what she wants because she knows she deserves it. <clears throat> but she's always closely connected to God. She always consults her guides, her angels, her ancestors. This is about believing in the impossible, believing in miracles. Because some of you, you were probably in this place where you never thought you would be out in the world stage. You never thought that you would be that much of an inspiration to others. But, oh, Sagittarius, you are definitely going to be one. <clears throat> because of everything you've been going through, you are going to really change people's lives in a very profound way. This is also about you guys are healing because you never have the courage, confidence, or strength to defend yourself. And you're doing some significant healing from that. You need to have faith in whoever challenges you to a duel. <laughs> you will be able to take up on that cha uh, take up take them up on, take them up on their challenge and win. This is the positive side of winning of all winning at all costs. That you can do this, standing up for yourself when you're challenged, standing up for yourself when people try to belittle you, berate you, take advantage of you. There's betrayals here. There's shame. There's regret. Um, people who try to take your swords, who try to like take the words out of your mouth and twist them around and throw them back at you. You're no longer going to be a doormat, Sagittarius. That's got to change. You had, a ten you had a tendency to not stand up for yourself. You just took it. Almost some of you, you may have just like not even engaged in the battle. You just let the person take your sword away. <clears throat> okay. Whatever situation you are involving yourself in Sagittarius, 
you're dealing with people who are not at your vibration, who are not going to where you're going to be. So it's time for you to cut yourselves off from those people. Okay? <clears throat> because this is wasted energy. There's also about taking the high road. Some of you may be trying to do the shadow side of this, winning at all costs, all right? <clears throat> because maybe you're the shadow side of the queen of wands, of wands, where you're judgmental, you're demanding, you're temperamental. It's my way or the highway. This energy is my way or the highway. That needs to change because there is some sort of defensiveness here like I talked about with the protection you're putting too much effort into arguing with people because you want to be right all the time. You want to win all the time. That's for some of you, not for all of you. <clears throat> That's not what a divine queen of rods does. She has people follow her because of what she's vibrating on the inside. The power comes from her and she doesn't need to take it from anybody. She gets it from God, all right? The God confidence in her. She does not have to be a dictator here. She doesn't have to like pull the wool, uh, pull the rug underneath people. She doesn't have to force any change. She doesn't have to force people to change. <clears throat> There's something about a lack of respect here. All right, people just allow you allow other people to take you down. That's ending. That is ending. You're healing from this. You're becoming a new person because you're no longer going to be a doormat. You're now going to stand up for yourself. Because before you didn't have the ability to. You're also going to be healing from a lot of people who betrayed you, who belittled you, who were condescending, hurtful with words. They tried to hurt you before they hurt, before you hurt them. <clears throat> okay. All of these challenges, these life's lessons here, you're going to learn a great deal from and it's going to make you stronger. It's going to empower you. There's a reason why you're going through this difficult energy with people. Because you're going to learn how to defend yourself in a proper way. Not by trying to fight. Not by trying to be argumentative and hurtful and, and demanding and jealous and temperamental. No, that's not the way to go about it. That's not true power. That's distorted. Okay, that's a misuse of your power. So with here, this, you are healing from this. <clears throat> there's also something here that something is changing in your life there's a miracle that's about to happen somebody wants to make amends with you someone wants to set the record straight because you have unfinished business with somebody there's a truce here there's a wish coming true about a resolution, a conflict of resolution. Somebody would come at you in a negative way. Like, again, they would try to hurt you before you would hurt them. And they would say things to you to kind of stop you in your tracks. <clears throat> Maybe to try to derail you, to catch you off guard, throw you off guard. So there's somebody here who would uh, speak out of turn, but there's, a, there's regret here for how they treated you. And they're hoping for a miracle that they can make amends with you. There's, there's need to be a change here. With the, the, the positive side of the Five of Swords is embracing change. You need to focus on embracing change and doing things differently, especially when you're talking to people. But there's somebody's been wishing to, um, yeah, to to there's unfinished business between you and somebody and someone wants to rectify this you've inspired them to change their ways and you didn't do it forcefully you did it because of your light light and love unconditional love changes people so you had the ability others of you for the other group of you you had the ability to change this person To help them treat you better because this is mistreatment here. So 
So you may have been wishing for someone to kind of change their ways, but you didn't force them. You just stood in your power because when you change, your person changes. <clears throat> That's a miracle in itself. When you become somebody you've never been before, you start to become your true authentic self, showing the world the real you. Everything else changes. You have to be the change you wish to see, Sagittarius, if you want things to be different. With people. I know when I started to do that, a lot of people around me, around me, around me started to change. You got to be in your power. You've got to be that magnetic queen of wands, not that demanding, forceful queen of wands. <clears throat> what is it that Sagittarius needs to avoid? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh my goodness. The counterpart is at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. See, when I say you change, so does your person. Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune and Justice. What did I say about trying to force it? You guys are trying to, 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 to change the trajectory of so where God is leading you to. You're trying to change what you're destined for. That doesn't work. God has a better plan for you. If you are getting hung up on being this powerful leader and showing your world, the world the real you and shining your light, you got another thing coming because God's going to continuously put you back on that path when you try to get off it. Okay? Um... There's something about you need to pay off your karmic debt. Some of you are trying to do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Forces beyond your control are causing this change. It's sudden. You can't do anything about it because it's leading you to your destiny. It's leading you to where God needs you to be. There's something karmic here. Maybe some of you wanting to seek justice from something, or maybe there's a legal issue here, but there's something karmic where you have to understand the consequences of your actions. This is about karmic avoidance. You can't avoid karma. Okay. You may be trying to blame somebody for your misgivings or blaming somebody for mistreating you, for um, taking advantage of you. It takes two to tango. Okay. If you keep feeling defeated and defeated and defeated, guess what? You're not standing up for yourself. You're going to continue to allow people to run over you. Okay, I went through the same damn thing. <laughs> I didn't have that enough, enough confidence to speak my mind, to speak up for myself. I didn't know my worth, right? I tried to blame other people. That's not fair. I want my justice. I didn't say that, but I was like, that's not fair. Why was I treated like that? It was because... <laughs> I didn't stay. I wasn't in my power. I did not have any self worth. I had very low self esteem. I was enabling the behavior. <clears throat> okay. But, um, Sagittarius, it really is time to take care of you. You gotta blame, stop blaming everybody else for whatever was done wrong to you. <clears throat> you gotta stop saying that's not fair, that's not fair, that's not fair. Who said? Some of you don't know the type of karma you carried into this lifetime. That could very well be what it's stemming from, okay? 
So if you're blaming other people, you're just, you keep saying to God, it's not fair, whatever, you got to change that because you're putting that out there and guess what? Those desires that you are wishing for, they're just not going to come to fruition because you're not in alignment with it. You just can't avoid your karma. I'm getting for some of you, if you, there's something about a marriage, a family, a divorce. Why did I have to get divorced? Why did I have to go through this thing? Maybe it's because you didn't stand up for yourself. <clears throat> You weren't taking good care of yourself. There's a big thing about taking care of yourself here, Sagittarius. And also about your emotional state. Maybe there's drinking going on for somebody. Be careful with that. Or there's some sort of addiction. And when I talked about some family thing, right? This insecurity, the, the safety uh, issue, protection issue. You may have come in from a broken home or broken marriage, okay? There was just, this, 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 the family was not balanced. There was disharmony in the family. It was not harmonious. Your upbringing wasn't really happy. It wasn't peaceful. It wasn't loving. There was something that went wrong. Um, <clears throat> because either you didn't stand up for yourself or there was a work-life imbalance with this Nine of Pentacles. Someone here was doing too much work. You were doing too much work for free. Okay. And now something's got to change. You got to stop undervaluing yourself. Self-care, self-love. A lot of you need to start doing that more. Taking matters into your own hands. Taking action with the King of Wands. Make it happen. You have the power. You have the authority to make it happen. This is leadership here. You've got to be more confident about yourself. And your talents, your gifts. <coughs> you have a high purpose here, Sagittarius. But there's something here karmically that you're dealing with. And it's stemming from a, some ancestral pattern too. You have to understand that you are more than enough. You got to overstop. You got to over stop overdoing what it is. You're working yourself too much. You're not putting yourself first, Sagittarius. You have to stand up for what you deserve, okay? Stand up for yourself, the five of swords. <coughs> speak your peace, speak your truth, be who you are. And if you're working too hard for free, you need to say something about it, or either that or you quit. There's something about people taking advantage of you. And something is not working well and you're just blaming them. This is not fair. Why do they keep doing this to me? Why do I keep getting betrayed? Why do they keep treating me this way? <coughs> Did you do something about it? Did you speak your peace? Did you speak your truth? Were you in your integrity? Or did you just allow it to happen? You, you're not aligned with somebody, Sagittarius. You could very well be dealing with a very temperamental boss, a tyrant, someone who's very controlling. They like it their way. It's kind of like the queen. This person has a temper, maybe dealing with a fire sign. So... Either you're dealing with somebody 
who's taking advantage of you, who has a very, very strong temper, okay? Someone who doesn't want to delegate, someone who wants to do everything on their own, me, me, me type of energy. I'm getting strong Aries with this King of Rods. Um, somebody who's like, nope, I got to have it my way. I got to do it this way. You can only do it my way and no other way. There's somebody here who's just like, who's, somebody's just very demanding. They really don't um, allow you guys or allow somebody, allow people to to do it a, a different way, okay? This is like, it's like dictatorship is what I'm getting with this here, all right? So, um, somebody who's ruthless, Either that's you or you're dealing with somebody like that, Sag. <laughs> this could also be a king who's very attractive, okay? Very attractive, very charismatic, um, very passionate, but they kind of utilize their charisma for their own gain, but there's also something about their sexuality. Somebody who's very good looking, who tries to get you in their pants or who tries to get you to follow their command. <laughs> okay. <coughs> the king commands you. I command you to do this is what I'm getting. Could be a boss. It could be somebody that you're dealing with, a counterpart or some karmic or something like that. Okay. And um, this person just tries to dictate everything that you do. And you're like, well, that's not fair that they get their way all the time. But you're allowing them. Whoever this is for, you're allowing them. You're not standing up for what you believe in, okay? You're undervaluing yourself. You are a very powerful person. You are more than enough. You do not have to continue to conform to what this king is demanding, all right? Um, that's also about you stepping into your power, making things happen, all right? You got to take action. You have to believe in yourself and be confident and courageous and take make bold moves. Take those risks and not even think twice about it, okay? You are the visionary leader, so go follow the vision that you have, all right? But there is something stemming from something in the family that was off. You may have had a controlling father in the family. Maybe your father was an Aries or something, but... Um, there was um, disharmony in the family and there was like a controlling parent or something like that. And you may have seen how your mother was mistreated. I was hearing what they're telling me and it affected your self-worth too. It's like it got, got passed on to the family line, especially to the females, okay? Um, but um, something does have to change. There's going to be a sudden unexpected event that's going to occur that's going to put you back on your path, okay? If you're not on it already. Um, you need to do the right thing for yourself, and that's speaking your truth. That's standing up for yourself. You got to tell people what you deserve. Okay. The others of you with this person who wants to make amends, they're going to be doing different things differently. They're embracing change. There is a blessing coming in. The stars are now aligned for this miracle to come in. And this person's coming in as a completely new person. But it's the same person that you knew. Um, because again, they know there's been unfinished business between the two of you and they want to fix this. They want to do the right thing. They want to bring justice to this connection. No more taking advantage of you. No more hurting you before you hurt them or them, you know, uh, you wasting their time when you talk to them and then they come at you in a negative way. Okay. <laughs> like low vibrational energy, someone who just cannot speak their truth someone here is finally deciding to change their ways and say i need to fix this i need to change my ways do something differently and just bring balance to chaos i have to speak my truth somebody's going to come in standing their integrity and say okay this is why i mistreated you this is why i did this or i didn't do that there's because this is destined to happen. Something is destined to happen. There could be a meetup or something, or um, <clears throat> there could be some sort of conversation that is caused by the fates. That it, 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 there's something that suddenly happens here. It's destined, it's fated. 
where you guys will meet up and you will have a talk and this person's going to say, you know what, um, I blamed you for everything, I blamed God for everything, whatever this is, that's why I was hurtful, that's why I tried to come at you before you came at me, whatever this was, this is why I tried to take advantage of you, why I was hurtful, why I was cunning, whatever that is. Uh, they're really coming in to really bring balance to this connection because they know that without this truth there's no way that they're going to clear up what was what happened between the two of you there's a lot of regret here and shame with regards to how they respected i mean disrespected you and there's about they're going to do the right thing and fix the situation by speaking their truth being in their integrity being completely honest <clears throat> because again that wheel of fortune is turning in upward directions and it's getting this person to do this because if this person doesn't speak their truth or you don't speak your truth you're not in your integrity your authentic self you're going to repeat the same karmic patterns and guess what you're not going to get out of that karmic cycle you will add more karma to your karmic debt okay um but there is somebody here who's coming clean there's going to be um i'm hearing expect the unexpected this could even be expected union to happen because you have a king and a queen here. We have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck and we saw the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. So that's probably the king and queen of wands sitting right there celebrating. He's holding a challenge. So he's making sure that she doesn't fall off the wheel because that guy flew off right, right there. So there's something here where there's a sudden turn of events. There's a huge turning point in a connection in your life because something that you've been wishing for is about to... to um, come true your dreams are coming true here uh you've been wishing for somebody to speak their truth you've been wishing for somebody to just give you clarity to be honest with you and it hadn't happened in a while but it looks like this was destined to happen you guys were destined to be together and there was no uh there was no telling when this person was going to speak their truth but i'm seeing that the uh, fates the uh, angels the ancestors the stars are aligning now to make everything happen so that this can be cleared up. This unfinished business can be cleared up so that the right thing is done. Because again, Major Arcana, another one. We have Libra and Aquarius here. <clears throat> Justice is being restored to a connection. All right. Justice is bringing two people back together and they're balancing the scales because you paid off your karmic debt and so did your person. But this person's coming in to kind of clear that out because their next step for them is to speak their truth. Um because you know they're they know you're deserving of this truth of them bringing in that clarity they can't avoid it anymore they've been trying to avoid it and they keep getting hit with their karma the wheel is turning in the opposite direction they may be losing things because of that because they're not doing what god has asked them to do so this individual here um They may have been resisting change because they probably wanted to stay single. All right. Or you wanted to stay single. You didn't want to get married. You didn't want to blend families. Somebody was afraid of change of having, you know, especially if you're blending families, right? And you're taking on somebody else's kid. There's a little bit of a hesitation with that because getting married again, and especially if somebody else has a child or they have a child, some people think that it gets challenging when, when families are blended. Okay. But because God is overseeing this, it's going to be harmonious. It's going to be happy. There's a happily ever after. And this person's like, I really don't want to be single anymore because even though I've made well for myself and I'm having a good time, I don't have anybody to share that happiness with. I don't have anybody to share the wealth with. I don't have anybody to share anything. It's cool when I'm on my own, but when it's like I'm doing it all the time, I'm missing somebody there. So this person was resisting probably the Ten of Cups where they didn't want to get married or come together with you because of the kids or whatever else or just because they had um, issues in a previous marriage. They're changing their mind now because they know that they can't be ultimately happy when they're not sharing it with somebody else. They want somebody to be there to experience the joys the highs the lows right um but more so the highs and build something beautiful together right so um 
this could even be you resisting change, Sagittarius, where you think you're going to be fine on your own and you're like, no, I don't really want to get into this type of relationship with somebody because I came from a broken home. I came from a divorce. I don't want to go through that again, that type of energy. <coughs> and we have three major arcana. So the other group of you, and yeah, there is someone who's taking action here. They're full of confidence and courage now to, to take this risk. They're like, I... I need to make this a success. I need to do this because I knew I need to come clean. I know I need to bring justice to the situation. I need to clear up what I have done to that person because at the end of the day, if somebody took advantage of you or they disrespected you, you didn't deserve that. You were being your authentic self. You were standing in your integrity and all you were doing was trying to be helpful, trying to be unconditionally loving with this person. You were trying to give them this unconditional love and this person wasn't really receptive of it because they thought something was backhanded or <clears throat> there, was, uh, there was something that wasn't right with it, but they're starting to see it differently now. They see the light now and now they're seeing you as a blessing. And this king of wands is, um, they're taking action and doing the right thing. <coughs> They, they can't let the Wheel of Fortune kick them in the ass anymore. So yeah, there's something here, Sagittarius, you're deserving of the truth and you know it. And this person knows it too. And when we're talking about your mission work, you being that leader, you're the visionary leader. You're embodying the masculine feminine energy, the king of wands and the, the, king, the queen of wands. <coughs> You're going to be in your full power and then you're going to take action on doing things. You're going to make your reality happen. You're going to make your dreams come true. It's all on you, okay? You have the ability to do this. You are more than enough to be this leader, <coughs> okay? You have the power to expose yourself. You have the power to show the world the real you. You shouldn't be afraid of this anymore because either way, God's going to put you in that spotlight. You may be like, no, I, I really don't want to do that. It's like when they asked me to do my YouTube channel. I said, are you serious? I don't want to put my face out there. I don't want my people, I don't want people to know the real me. I don't want people to see the real Jess. That's a little frightening. Right? But this whole thing was part of my destiny. And this whole YouTube stuff. It helped me to get into my king of wands, queen of wands energy. It's the most amazing story. Um, I also had to learn how to defend myself because when people say things to me or whatever, or they challenge me, they put these comments on my channel. It's like, okay, I'm not going to be hurt by that because nobody can dethrone me. I'm the queen, king of wands, right? So... It's like part of your destiny here, Sagittarius, is... You're here to be a leader and to bring peace, righteousness, and justness to situations, to relationships, whatever this is. You're here to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. You're here to be an example to others, to stand in their integrity, to be their true authentic selves. There's a lot of air here, but there's a lot of like integrity, honesty, and um, showmanship, and <laughs> being your true authentic self. Let your light shine. Okay? Be true to yourself and let yourself shine. You can't be dimming your light anymore. No matter how you try much to get off that wheel, yeah, God's going to put you right back on it. But there's something faded that's happening for sure. Destiny and fate is really occurring right now. Um, you've worked very hard on yourself, others of you, to achieve this life where you became fully independent and you didn't rely on anybody for your success for your well-being, for your happiness. You did this all on your own. You really are an inspiration to others because you built yourself from the ground up. You went from zero to 180. You saw who you really were and said, you know what, I am more than enough. I don't have to seek validation or accolades or anything from anybody else. I know who I am. I don't settle for anything that's less than what I deserve. I stand up for what I deserve. 
it's like somebody stood up for themselves and said, if somebody wasn't being honest with them, then they say, look, I deserve the truth. You may have told somebody, I deserve the truth here. And this entire time you've been wishing and praying, God, I just want clarity. I just want the truth. I just want somebody to speak to me honestly because I need closure. I need to clear this out because there is unfinished business here. You were left hanging about something and you asked for that truth and that person didn't give it to you. But it looks like that the forces beyond our control are pushing this person to give you that truth, to give you that clarity. And there's something about... Um, because you've learned your karmic lessons about knowing your self-worth, standing up for yourself, you're going to be rewarded with this Ten of Cups. This is a material and emotional fulfillment. You are going to get married to this person. You are blending families if you have children. It's going to be a beautiful, happily ever after. You're getting your storybook ending because of all the stuff that you went through, but you also really learned how to be your true authentic self and to not back down and to not let anybody dim your light. You understood what was really of value, and that was you. You put yourself first. You now put yourself first. <clears throat> but, man, we're talking about blessings and fortune here. Somebody's hitting the karmic jackpot. You've really... you. So I'm hearing you over... Not overdid it. You worked very hard on getting yourself to this queen of wands king of wands energy and god is now rewarding you greatly for that that's something sagittarius so congratulations congratulations <laughs> all right oh gosh why is the emperor down here i forgot to pick the emperor up anyway we are going to clarify Let me put this over here. Ooh, the sun's sticking out. Why the star card and the five of swords here? Holy Spirit, Archangel, Galactic, Families, Pleading, Sirius, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Seven of swords. You gotta stop hiding behind a mask. Okay. <clears throat> so it looks like somebody was challenging you to speak up for yourself and you didn't do it. So they did some backhanded things to do that. I know that sounds a little weird, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. So if you're wearing a mask, guess what? The person you were dealing with is wearing a mask. Okay. That's exactly what happened to me. So this is about understanding that looks can be deceiving. And I did say something about looks because some of you are getting hung up on the leadership thing about shining your light and being out in the open and exposing yourself to the world, but not in that way. Okay. And you guys are like, I'm not, I don't look like a leader. I don't look like the other people who are leaders. I don't, I'm not powerful. Somebody was talking about this with politicians. I think it was my mom where we were looking at, you know, cause we just had election day. And I think she said to somebody, that person doesn't look like a leader, but what does a leader look like Sagittarius? Especially if you're older in age, okay? Stop deceiving yourself. I said something about somebody's getting hung up on their appearance with regards to leadership or about being this powerhouse, about being this beacon of light. You're afraid to shine your light because you don't believe in yourself. Okay? There's some self-deception here. Oh, I, I don't I can't do that. I'm not capable. I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not handsome enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't look the part. Stop. Whoever's thinking that, you gotta stop thinking that. Things aren't always what they seem. Okay? And for you being in this leadership position, you gotta understand that you can, you have the part, you have the ability to do that, to be a leader. God's calling you for this. Something for some of you, you're gonna be on a world stage. You will be famous because the star card is here. 
some of you are destined to be famous, to be a star, to be very well known for what you do. And some of you are freaked out about it. Why? There's no need. You are protected. You're afraid of challenge. You're afraid of conflict. You're going to have to face it head on. It's exactly what I had to learn. Okay? But there is somebody here who's coming clean. Okay? They're going to show the world the real you. They were wearing a mask the whole time. And they're now going to confess why they treated you in whatever manner. Okay? <clears throat> But again, I did hear something about somebody was kind of doing that on purpose because they wanted you to shine your light. They wanted you to stand up to them. Because if this is your divine counterpart, this is exactly what they challenge you to do. All those things about yourself that you never really owned up to, all of the being the doormat, not standing up for yourself, those very difficult things that you couldn't do, your divine counterpart is the one who's going to try to bring it out of you. They are your greatest teacher. And I know that for a fact because mine was my greatest teacher. He had me go from a very low self-esteem place to like, I don't give two shits what anybody says, thinks, or does. I speak my truth and I'm not fucking afraid of it. And you can call bullshit on me, whatever. It doesn't matter. It will not affect me because I cannot be dethroned. And that's not an egotistical thing that's coming from a, 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 a confidence. <coughs> okay? Because I now know that I don't deserve anything less than amazing. I now stand up for what I deserve. I am not going to settle for second best. Not anymore. While I have high standards, that's because I need somebody to be my equal. I need somebody to be strong, confident, and courageous as well. I need to have somebody who's going to shine their light, who's not going to be afraid of conflict, who's not going to be a doormat. Because I was attracting doormats too. <coughs> okay? So you need to understand that you are a beautiful, attractive, powerful, intelligent person. This is about self-fulfillment. Learning how to stand on your two feet and you are going to come into this power by yourself. Nobody's going to hold your hand. I can't even hold your hand. All the hard work is on you. Because when you put in that hard work, achieving self-mastery, working your dharma, all of that stuff, working on your inner self, you're going to be greatly rewarded in the end. And then you're going to attract all these beautiful things in your life. Um, but there is something about being single. There's a surprise coming. Somebody's strategically planning something. I'm hearing shh, like my guys don't want to say what it is, but maybe they'll reveal it later because sometimes that happens. There's something about you not being single anymore because the nine of pentacles is showing up again because it's over here. Okay. It's like you're getting double the rewards for your labor for somebody here. There's a miracle happening. You're not going to see this coming. This is coming out of left field, or somebody's coming out of left field. It's kind of like somebody here. You've been single for a while. Like, you're going to get married all of a sudden. There's going to be a sudden change in direction. There's a sudden change in your finances, sudden change in your status. Going from single to married. Going from, you know, not having enough money in the bank to being rich. Something like that. Because there's great fortune here. There's money here. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, the Justice card, and the Nine of Pentacles are here. Holy Spirit. <laughs> They change their mind that fast. Oh, wow. See? See? Nine of coins is here twice. 
You really need to believe in yourself, Sagittarius. You are avoiding the fact that you are not, you're thinking that you're not enough. <coughs> you're not standing up for what you deserve. Some of you are working too much for free. You're giving away your gifts, your talents away for free because there's something about, maybe you have a fear of being rich or fear of having all this money. I don't know. You feel like you got to do these things for free because you're kind and you're generous. No. You don't. You have to find a balance in that. We have three nines, guys. Something is about to end here. Oh, look. Six of coins came up in the reverse. On equal give and take, you're giving too much of yourself to other people, Sagittarius. You got to stop doing it. You got to stop doing things for free. Giving away your time, talent, and energy for free. You better start charging. <laughs> You're working too hard for free. You've been warned many, many times. You are adding to your karmic debt because there's something about your worth. You need to charge. You need to tell people, okay, you know what? I'll do this for you, but you're going to have to pay me. Type of thing. That's what I'm getting. You guys are working too hard on something. A business, a project, a relationship even. Okay? Because I need to go give and take here. But somebody took their power back. Because you saw this. That you were putting in all the effort. And the other person wasn't. And you said, forget that. I'm not dealing with that anymore. So you took it upon yourself to like, I'm not being mistreated here. Somebody took advantage of your kindness and your generosity. And some of you, you turned that around. You're like, nope. I'm going to be happy on my own. I don't need anybody. I don't need anyone to like validate me. I'm going to be generous and kind to myself. It's like some people ask you to do something. Oh, yeah, sure. I won't charge you. You don't have to do anything. There are strings attached to this Sagittarius, and some of you don't even know. You think those people are being kind and generous or something like that? I don't know. There's some strings attached to that offer, to what it is they're telling you. Somebody's being sneaky. They're, they're being deceiving here. They're lying to you? Oh, I need this done because this, this, and this. Can you do this for me? That's what I'm hearing. And you're like, okay, sure. I'll do it. I'll do it for free. There's strings attached. You're being deceived. Some of you are being deceived. Okay? <clears throat> Some, this is a strategy that somebody puts on you every now and again. Okay? Nine of Swords. You got to get clear about the situation. <laughs> Others of you who are working yourself too much, it's causing stress and anxiety. See what the mental thing? I think I said Nine of Swords or maybe I said Ten. Or eight. I don't know. I remember I, I said something about the swords. I don't remember though. But um, see, you're you're overdoing yourself. You need some time to yourself. Some of you, this really is working too much for free, and it's stressing you out. You can't sleep at night. You're doing too much, Sagittarius. You gotta stop. Some of you still have a tendency, you're seeking validation outside of yourself. You want people to say, oh, you're so kind, you're so generous, you're going to do this for free. Oh my God, that's so awesome. Blah, 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 blah. And you keep doing this. Some of you keep doing this and you're not charging. You're not saying, okay, well, you know what? If I'm going to do this for you, can you, you know, maybe later on you do this or something. Or you have to understand the value. Like, let's say, uh... I'm try this is not gonna this is not gonna make sense to some people, but I'm trying to get an explanation. I'm an example. Like <clears throat> okay, 
this is going to be weird, but this is what I'm getting. You cook for somebody for five days in a week. Oh, thanks. Can, can you do bake these cookies for me? I need to this Monday, this Tuesday, this Wednesday. Oh, sure. You bake cookies five days a week. And then the person's like, oh, um, I'll buy you lunch. Uh, I'll drop off your kids one day, something like that, next week. How much work does it take for you to bake those cookies and all the money you put into it, especially if they don't buy the ingredients, with you, with them taking you out to lunch or you dropping off their kid at school? You know what I mean? Something like that. I think you guys are smart enough to understand what I'm trying to say. Okay? There are people who are taking advantage of your kindness and generosity, guys. I said they're taking advantage of you. All right? You probably don't think so, but you are. This is a self-worth issue. You want people to look at you in a different light. It's almost like you're trying to force something to happen or you're, you're trying to see there's still self-esteem issues. There's still self-worth, self-love issues. Some of you are still seeking validation outside of yourself. So you're overworking yourself to, to please these people. I'm hearing people pleasing. This is not what you're supposed to be doing, Sagittarius. And apparently it's affecting your, it's affecting your health. You're doing too much. You've been warned. It needs to change. Embracing change. Do things differently. Because people are taking advantage of you. Okay? You need to stand up for yourself. And say, maybe learn to say no. No, I can't do that. No, I can't help you with that because I'm going to need to charge you or you're going to have to pay this, whatever, whatever it is. There's unequal give and take here. And look, the bottom of the deck never is in the reverse. This is very serious, okay? For the others of you, somebody knew that they took advantage of your kindness and generosity and they're coming in to shower you with gifts. They're coming in to give back what you gave them. This is another message that came from the Leo reading. So Leo and Sagittarius are very similar. Um... You backed away from this person. You found happiness within yourself. And your person was watching you like, how are they happily single without me? That type of thing. How is that possible? You know? And this person's like, I really need to tell the truth about what happened. This person's going to tell you, they probably may flat out tell you, I took advantage of your kindness. <laughs> and they're going to tell you that they were in the wrong. But it looks like somebody... Their, their love language is showering you with gifts. They're really going to take action on this. They know they need to do the right thing. And they have to have the courage to do it. They really need to come clean here. There's a lot of confessions. I'm getting a lot of confessions this week. The energy for this week is about confessing. <coughs> I've been seeing it in other YouTube videos too. This person was trying to entice you invite them over or do things for you because there were strings attached to whatever this person was offering before they were giving you a little bit of crumbs it's kind of like a trail leading you to the the house where you get thrown Hansel and Gretel you get thrown into the oven right <laughs> you don't want to get thrown into the oven Sagittarius but apparently some of you who realized that you were not getting what you were giving them it's like it was a lack of reciprocity you said stop I'm, I'm gonna stop I'm going to stop giving so much to people. I'm going to learn to receive. And what you did is what you gave to yourself. You found self-fulfillment. You're like, I don't need to date anybody. I don't need to do anything but be me and take care of myself and find my own happiness. I'm going to build something for myself. You are responsible for your abundance and your well-being. This is a self-made person. You are an inspiration to others because you overcame adversity. You went through all these challenges, especially with people taking advantage of you. And you stood strong. And uh, you're like, you know what? I'm just going to do me. That's exactly what you did. And now the wheel is turning in an upward direction because you learned your lessons about self-worth, self-love, and learning to be independent and finding happiness on your own. So we're going to get a uh, guidance card. Let's see. What guidance do we have for Sagittarius this week? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Family, Spirit, and Syrians, please and thank you. 
you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. A lot of these signs are having very similar messages, guys. There's something aligning here. The star card's been coming up often, too. Ask for what you want. See? Let the universe and other people know what you need. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. I told you guys. Stop trying to control the wheel of fortune. Flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. That's funny because I got my flowers in my room that I bought last week. I can't be without my flowers. I wish I could show them to you because they look freaking awesome. <clears throat> this card serves as a reminder of the importance of asking for your desires. The universe is much like a restaurant and that you need to put in your order before anything can happen. Your current situation calls for action on your part. First, spend time clarifying your desires. Then tell the universe clearly what you want. You can always qualify your request with the prayer, this or something better, so that you don't unwittingly limit yourself. However, you do need to make a clear decision about your desires. Be honest with the people in your life. Tell the universe what you want. Write a list of your desires. Have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with someone you're in a relationship with about your needs, boundaries, and expectations. Ask others to help you and accept that aid when it's offers. offered. Expect a positive outcome and your expectations will be rewarded. <clears throat> Easy does it. Just as the dolphin rides the waves of joy and ease, so will the waves of your life carry you if you'll just relax and let everything flow. I talked about go where the wind takes you, be in the flow, right? You drew this card because you've been trying to force something to happen and the underlying fear has created blocks and barriers for you. Take some time to go outside in nature to help you relax. Let go of the situation and watch how quickly everything you desire occurs. Relax and have faith, go play. Connect with the dolphins, take a sea salt bath, go for a swim, get out of your own way, Sagittarius. <clears throat> this card signifies that you'll benefit from the balancing and healing properties of flowers. Spend time in a garden or even at a florist shop and surround your home with fresh flowers. As you breathe in the fragrances, feel their magical healing abilities bathing every cell of your body. I swear to you guys, that works. If you get lilies, even better. The fairies also suggest that you buy a bottle or two of pure flower essences, which are available at most health food stores. Use rose oil to open your heart to love, for instance, or sprinkle lavender oil on your pillows and sheets to calm your nerves. Use flower essences in your healing work with others. Study aromatherapy, make sachets or dry lavender eye pillows, plant a flower garden, send a loved one some flowers. Maybe somebody here is going to literally send you some flowers. Go with the flow. If God told you to send flowers, send flowers. Or somebody's telling your person to send flowers. Somebody is asking, praying for a miracle. I heard living on a prayer at Walmart yesterday and I was laughing because I said, that was me living on a prayer. And I heard that someone else that I know was like living on a prayer. They've been praying for a miracle here. <coughs> That you will let bygones be bygones. You will you will hear them out. There's some something that you're not seeing that's coming. Somebody's planning to send you flowers, planning to do something. Um, there is something with marriage here. Could be planning a proposal, even though I don't see any proposal cards. But hey, I'm channeling it. Um, there is something changing here. But again, you can't resist change. You gotta just go with the flow. But there's somebody here where. Either you need to send someone flowers or someone's sending you some flowers. <coughs> it's, it's a surprise. Oh, okay. So somebody here is doing something different. They want to reconcile with you. There's something about the initial stages here about making amends with you. So somebody has been trying to make amends with you via text or email or something like that. They're trying to find the words to say to you to apologize about something. 
but it looks like they may have found another way and they could very well be sending you roses because red roses are about apologies but something about sending you flowers to start off with something and maybe writing something on a card <coughs> okay to kind of start to see how you would react to that okay that's what i'm getting from this because that card said send someone some flowers and it did talk about express have heart to heart conversations right with somebody <clears throat> I need to read the easy does it card again. Relax and have faith. Yeah. Have faith that you'll be able to clear the air or reconcile with somebody or make amends type of thing. That ask for what you want. They have me going back here for a reason. Be honest with the people in your life. See? Honesty and integrity speaking your truth. But it looks like somebody is going to start by like sending you flowers or something like that. There's also a dietary change for some of you. Some of you got to change your diet. <clears throat> okay, let's get your wellness message. What wellness tip do we have for Saji Saj? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, please experience. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Personal journey. I follow what feels right within me without revealing, without needing validation from others. We are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. See what I said about the validation, guys? You do not need to seek validation outside of yourself. Water my dreams. All I desire is on its way to me, but like a seed, my dreams, too, must be watered. My belief and determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at the perfect time. Stop trying to force something to happen. Sagittarius, some of you keep getting that message. Sagittarius gets that message often. You might have gotten the easy does it card the last time I pulled the magical fairies. Desk. Desk. Deck. I was going to say something else. <coughs> I guess it's down the brain. All of a sudden. Alrighty. Let's see what is coming to you in love. See, so some of you are comparing your journeys to others. Don't do that. There's also some sort of jealousy. I was getting jealousy with the Nine of Pentacles here. That's the shadow side. Okay, I'm sensing jealousy somewhere. What is coming to Sagittarius in love? Holy Spirit. <laughs> Whoa. The phoenix is rising from the ashes. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. I said somebody, you are getting closure. Some of you are getting closure from your person. This person has changed their mind. There was something that I said about wanting to be single. Okay, I can, I like living my life, but it's not the same. There's still something missing. And they're like, I want the Ten of Cups. I want to share my happiness. I want to experience life with somebody else. I want to laugh with someone. I want to watch movies with someone. I want to go hiking with someone. I want to go on trips with somebody. It's cool doing it on my own or with friends, but I don't have a companion. I don't have any somebody to do stuff with me almost all day, every day, or sharing the wealth or sharing the happiness, okay? So somebody here has changed their mind about doing things on their own, about being single. They thought they wanted to be single, but they're like, not anymore. They have changed completely. It's a huge transformation. This is Scorpio energy, the phoenix rising from the ashes. They've grown tremendously they want to renew the connection they want to rekindle it and it may start off with somebody sending you flowers okay or sending you a gift because we saw the six of pentacles somebody's giving you a gift but there's something about showering you with gifts this person could very well be wealthy because we have a lot of pentacle energy here <coughs> the six of cups is about talking about a philanthropist a wealthy person okay so somebody here is going to share the wealth. They're going to be sharing you with gifts. It may start with a bunch of flowers. You may get like your whole porch flooded with flowers or something like that. 
or they're gonna send you other things instead of just flowers. There's just like a bombardment of gifts here is what I'm getting. <coughs> is this person wants to show you how much they really care and how much they appreciate you. So there's a huge change in this person and they want to rekindle this connection. <coughs> this connection is going through a rebirth is what I was just told. They know that they what they want, what they need is unconditional love. They want, they need a companion. They need harmony in their life. They want happiness. It's not about money anymore. It's not about singlehood or whatever. They're changing and they're, they're, um, moving on from the past or moving on from this uh, idea that they can be completely happy on their own but again they're still missing something and that's you i was talking about arriving there's something about going on a boat they're arriving on a boat or you're gonna go on a boat with them i don't know <laughs> something about a boat where maybe they bought you a boat oh my god if somebody buys you a boat can you please tell me because honestly i want a boat I've always wanted a boat since I was a child. Here we have keys on a ring. Is it gonna focus? Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. They had a lot of decisions to make, but there were so many options. They're like, I don't know what to do, but apparently they finally chose you. They have had a changed mind. They went through some huge awakening, some huge transition something ended and something new is beginning and they were like oh i don't know i mean i have options but they chose you because there's nobody like you on this planet they may also confess that they were stringing you along six of coins in the reverse the breadcrumbing they're giving you a little bit and then you're like giving them everything giving you a little bit and then you're giving them even more, right? That had to end. So there's also about, you know, somebody was just trying to entice you with something because they just wanted a one night stand. Or, or this may have been where this person asked you out. They said all these things, did all these things, right? They were wearing a mask. They were deceiving you. Um, <clears throat> they were being very strategic. And they did everything that they thought that you were going to fall for. And uh, they initially only wanted a one night stand with you, but they got caught with their pants down or something, or you caught them in the lie, or you, uh, or your person realized that uh, this is not a one night stand type of person. They felt this. They felt a huge change in them. You might have slept with them, but it doesn't have to be that. That's not for everybody. Um, there was a huge change in them when they met you. Yeah, it could have been. Oh, there's confirmation. See? They thought you were a one-night stand, but they felt this. They felt sparks. They felt some sort of inspiration. They felt like, oh my gosh. <coughs> This was destined. This one night stand is turning into a union <laughs> for some of you, okay? It's turning into some happily ever after, all right? And they're like, oh my gosh. This is the blessing I've been asking for. That, okay, I just got it. Somebody was praying for you, right? I talked about the prayer. They prayed for a miracle. They prayed for you or something. You came along. And then they were like, oh, they didn't think you were the answer to their prayers. And you had a one night stand with them. This is not going to fit with everybody. And then they realized that you were their person. You were the light of their life. You were their star, their moon, their sun. Um, you ended up, their person ended up realizing that you were destined to be together. That like, no matter what they did, they always came back to you. Okay, so this... And they're like, they could have also been after that. They may have continued to have one night stands. They had many options of dating, of sleeping with other people, whatever this is. And every time they would go back to you because the other, the people that they had one night stands with, or they, they went on dates with or something, it wasn't the same. They didn't want to keep circling through their options anymore. 
because there's only one you and they want you. They've changed their mind. They want to rekindle this. This could very well be part of the confession that they're going to tell you. If you're not ready to hear that truth, then you're not ready for union. That's just the truth right there. If you're going to get triggered, if that person confesses to you about that, then you're not ready for union because you should have kind of already know intuitively that this person was already doing this. <coughs> okay. Let's get your message cards. What does Sagittarius's person want to say to them at this time? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Pleiadian Syrians. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. <coughs> Holy shit, I love you. I fucking love you. This is how much passion and love they have for you. I mean, we're talking about King of Wands, Queen of Wands, passion. Holy shit, man. They really, really love you, Sagittarius. <coughs> yes, I read your letter. So yeah, see, you may have said something to them and every time you say something to them or you write something to them, they come back in, in a negative way, all right? They try to say something hurtful because they don't want to get hurt or something like that. There's something that this person still had to overcome. Um, so if you sent them something and you're wondering if they read it, they did read it. And they've read it several times over. And they've been trying to figure out how to properly tell you the truth. And part of that truth is they actually love you the same. I mean, they are seriously head over heels for you. <clears throat> I have something to give you. I hope you like it. See, there's the gift right there. I didn't mean what I said. See, <laughs> making amends here, clearing up the air. I tried to cut you down before you could cut them, but you weren't going to cut them in the first place. I'm a completely different person now. It's all because of you. There is the transformation, the phoenix. They're a completely different person. I may have said that. I don't remember. This is the last time I would keep secrets from you. No more hiding. The seven of swords, they've been hiding. They've been trying to circumvent the truth, trying to get away with murder. They can't do that anymore. Lots of surprises are coming to you soon. I talked about surprises with the Seven of Swords. Thank you for bringing me closer to God. That is huge right there. I have a hard time communicating how I truly feel. See? See, see, see? Because they really love you that much, and it's been hard for them to tell you that. <clears throat> they want you guys to get another one. What else does their person want to say to that Holy Spirit? Archangels, Galactic Families, Pagan Syrians, please and thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. This person really has something to say. Well, there's one. I didn't even shuffle yet. What does Sagittarius' this person want to say to them, Holy Spirit? It'll be okay. We're going to be okay. I miss you tremendously. Leo got the same thing, and I channeled that. See, this person, <coughs> they love you too much. They're missing you a lot, so it's kind of like they need to say something. <coughs> Look what's at the bottom of the deck. I just had a massive revelation about you and our connection. I see things way more clearly now. See? There you have it. Oh, they want one more? Okay, Sagittarius. Yeah. Your person really wants to make something clear to you. What else does Sagittarius' person want to say to them? No wonder. I told you. I want you and no one else. I mean, they are freaking... They're so driven by this, guys. They're going to take action for sure. 
because they want you nobody else. They know they have to do something before somebody else takes you away. <clears throat> Words cannot express how grateful I am for you. I truly am. You see what I said? They have a hard time communicating. They can't express how grateful they are for you because you've changed them tremendously. So they're, they're trying to strategically plan how to make amends with you, how to tell you how they feel. And there's something about starting with flowers or gifts or something like that. <coughs> I'm about to make you an offer with no strings attached. Because <coughs> they previously were making you offers with strings attached. They're not doing that anymore. They got hit with their karma. I want us to move in together. See the Ten of Cups there? Marriage, blending families. I'm going through a tough time right now. It's not you. I just need some more time and need some space. See? <coughs> this could have been in the past. Five of Swords energy type of thing. They were going through something. Which is probably why they came at you in not a nice way. Okay? Either they're going through this now or they already went through this. Out of the deck, I want to have a family with you. There it is. They totally changed. Totally changed. They didn't want this before because maybe they were married before and they didn't want to go through that again. <coughs> but again, Ten of Cups, they want a family with you. See, they want you, they want to move in with you. Because they miss you too much. They don't want anybody else. They, they have options, but they only want you, Sagittarius. So there you have it. I hope this helped you. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me or you want to set up for an awesome Capella membership to support me in my work and all the things that I do for you guys, on top of the free readings that I do, go ahead and check out the description box below. Click on the link to my service suite or click on the link to my Capella services so you can see all the different benefits for each tier. Some of the tiers allow you to have a 14-day free trial. I do not harass you if you cancel your trial or anything like that, okay? So keep that in mind. If you want to go to capellawellness.com, click on the join on button to see all the different tiers and then you can sign up for one of the memberships there if you feel drawn. If you also want to um, support me in another way, uh, you can do so by submitting a donation or choosing something from my wish list. It's up to you. If you feel drawn to do that, if you feel like you want to support what I do, by all means, check the description box below. There are links to my donations there and there's a link to my Amazon wish list, okay? All right, Sagittarius, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always I send you so, so much love and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess with Capella Wellness, starring out.